Hello everyone, this is Brett, and I'm here to show you some of the things that we picked up for Record Store Day 2021, drop number one, along with a couple other uh, albums that we picked up over the last, uh, last few weeks. Before I get to that, I just realized that I passed the 3,500 subscriber mark, so thank you to everyone that tunes in and subscribes, comments, likes the videos. I don't make videos nearly as often as I used to, hopefully that'll change uh, soon. But uh, thank you all, really appreciate it. All right, so we picked up four things for Record Store Day. Two of them, the first two are gonna be from Grace Records uh, in Gilbert, Arizona. What's up, Brent? This was the one I was most excited about when I saw the list and because it's never been released on vinyl before. And this is the second album from Love Spit Love, Try Some, Eat One. Love Spit Love was uh, after the Psychedelic Furs went on a hiatus after 1991's World Outside. Uh, Richard Butler, uh, the singer of Psychedelic Furs, started a new band and they released two albums before the Furs reunited and this is the second one. It originally came out in 1997 on Maverick Records. Uh, it has, if you're unfamiliar with Love Spit Love, uh, the song Fall on Tears is definitely one to check out from this one. Beautiful, beautiful ballad. They did a fantastic with this job with this pressing. It sounds incredible. There's the inner sleeve. This one was limited to 2,000 copies, and it's on this really interesting white and black swirl. Love, spit, love. Try some, eat one. Hopefully we will see a reissue of their first album from uh, 1994 someday soon. All right, then the other thing we got from Grace and I'm hinting at it back there behind me. And that is the 40th anniversary a, uh, a reissue of U2's single, Fire. This was the first single from 1981, their second album, October. Uh, the October album is kind of an underappreciated gem in their catalog. And Fire and its beast, the original B-side, Jay Swallow, which is very kind of experimental. Um, great songs and they, I have a little sticker on here. It's a picture disc. On the back, you can see the band in someone's living room. You see the edges, Gibson Explorer on the ground there. Uh, the B side on this one has two live versions of Fire, along with uh, Fire and Jay Swallow on the on the A side. And that was limited to 7,500 7, copies. And I pulled out the original, my original seven inch of Fire there. And there's the CD single replica of the 12 inch you see behind me. So I'm very excited about to have that. U2 has been releasing um, something for each each little batch of record store day, and it's always exciting to see what's uh, what's what, what's coming next. All right, next batch is from Zia Records, which is a independent chain here in Arizona. I think there are a couple stores. I don't think there are a couple stores in Las Vegas, and the first one is suede or as they're referred to in the in the united states the london suede uh, back in the 90s there was a vhs of this particular concert called love and poison and this is the soundtrack to it or the audio from it it was recorded live at the brixton academy may 16th 1993 it has the original lineup with bernard butler on guitar uh, this was limited to it was 3,000 copies this is a quote unquote in our record story import and it has the die cut if you weren't if you didn't catch that it has the die cut uh, jacket on it and the both records are on clear vinyl sound quality is really really good and what i especially love it is when bands take chances in their live set and instead of opening with some high energy number they opened up with a with a delicate yet intense a piano ballad called The Next Life, and it is an in, as intense live version of it, uh, Brett Anderson's falsetto, just beautiful. And uh, like a lot of live suede shows, they always play a lot of B-sides live, and this has uh, My Insatiable One, uh, Painted People, and To the Birds, Sleeping Pills on here, which is one of my favorite suede songs. So yeah, this is called Love and Poison. If you're a suede fan, Definitely see if you can still grab a copy of this one. And then the last one we got from Zia 
is uh, Sarah, my wife, was this was the one she was most excited about. This originally came out in 1990. I remember had, I had it on cassette. It is a tribute to Cole Porter, and it collects a bunch of bands doing Cole Porter songs uh, to raise money for AIDS research. And this is Red Hot and Blue. It's a gatefold. They did a really nice job with this as well. All I was really impressed with everything, all the audio quality um, on these. Now, I originally had this on cassette back when it came out in 1990, primarily because of the U2 uh, song, Night and Day. Uh, I you know, knew that growing up with uh, my dad as a huge Frank Sinatra fan, so the song Night and Day was always playing. And what's interesting about U2's version is it came out in 1990, so we were right in that stopgap between Joshua Tree, Rattle and Hum, and then what was to come next the year later with Octoon Baby. And when we listen back in hindsight, you know, from 30 years ago, maybe it doesn't sound like too much of a dramatic departure in sound, but when Night and Day came out, it really showed what was to come the following year with Octoon Baby. And then we really got it with the first single, The Fly, which was a total dramatic departure. Night and Day, pun intended, from uh, what came before from Joshua Tree and Rattle and Hum. So their version on that is really stellar. There's a music video for it. And then the rest of the uh, collection, you have Nina Cherry on it, the Neville Brothers, Sinead O'Connor, uh, Deborah Harry and <clears throat> Iggy Pop. You have David Byrne, Tom Waits, Annie Lennox, uh, Erasure. Okay. A big, big collection of stuff. And like the name Red Hot and Blue, you can only assume, and you would be correct in assuming, that one record is red and the other is, what do you think it is? It is blue. This was limited to 1,100 copies. So if you are interested in getting that, you'll definitely want to pick that up quickly. So that was the four records for four records for Record Store Day. And I also pulled out three other things that I wanted to show you because uh, they're recent releases that um, are recent uh, acquisitions that I'm excited to show you because maybe you don't know about them and uh, I'm recommending them. So first up is, well, there's a label based in Savannah, Georgia called Graveface Records and the owner, Ryan Graveface, he also has a, a sub-label called Terror Vision where they reissue obscure horror movie soundtracks or other more obscure uh, movies on vinyl. And his label, Graveface, reissued and also the trees that uh, their first album last year's Record Store Day, I, I did a post on that. And he also did the Blind Mr. Jones Stereo Music a few years before that. Always does a fantastic job. They always have great liner notes, double records, lots of bonus material. And uh, so when this record was announced, we were so excited that we immediately pre-ordered it. I got the bundle with the t-shirt, which I should have worn, but today I'm representing Nico the Marble Index. Some of you probably already knew that. Oh, okay. So this is the soundtrack to the 80s movie, The Gate. Now, it doesn't really look like it's the soundtrack yet, so, so check out what they did here. So the bundle came with a t-shirt, and then I'll show you some of the other things, but it has a little wrap around the jacket, and when you pull this off, it opens up, and it's upside down, to a movie poster for the gate. So that's such a super cool touch. And then, what you see after that is the jacket gatefold. But what's even more cool is when you open the jacket, it has this little pop-up like a kid's book and there's the monster that uh, appears out of that portal or that gate in their backyard. And then the vinyl itself is, it's the variant is called the Old God. So this is limited to 500 copies. If you're interested and you need a link for it, please leave me a comment and I can direct you towards uh, where you may be able to still grab one. And it's on this cool fluorescent yellow with all these swirls in there. Uh, it has great liner notes on the inner sleeve, all about the making of the uh, soundtrack, uh, what gear was used, all the equipment. This is all the equipment uh, that was used on it. So fantastic job. Uh, I'm really looking forward to what uh, Grayface and Terror Vision continue to release. 
because they're doing such a, a, a fun job with this. Oh, and the bundle also included the cassette version, and it's on this blue shell. Really nice. So the gate. Okay, next up. So you've probably heard me talk about Lycia before. Uh, if you follow my band Audra, then you, you know the, the connection. Um, Mike from Lycia played on our last album, Dear Tired Friends, on the song Planet of Me. And uh, we were label mates on the Project uh, record label. And this was originally released on Project back in 1991. So this is the 30th anniversary and the first time ever their debut album, Ionia, is appearing on vinyl. And uh, it was reissued by an Italian label called Avant Garde. They did such an amazing job with this. Gatefold, two record set, sounds killer. There's two color variants. I got this one, which looks incredible. This is a post-punk classic. If you're unfamiliar, leave a comment so I can give you a link. I'm not sure how many of these are still floating around and available, but uh, if you are interested and want to get one, now is the time to do it before they are out of print. Lycia Ionia, excellent. And then lastly, uh, this is a New York City band, post-punk also, called The Harrow. This is their debut album from 2015. This is called Silhouettes. Uh, my favorite track on here is called Feral Haze, but the closing track, White Nile, also really great. I'll bring this out. I'm not sure if these are still available. Uh, you can, if, you can uh, check out The Harrow on Bandcamp. They also have a cassette, and uh, within the last year, they released a new single. So that is the hero. All right. So I hope you enjoyed everything that I showed. If you need further information or links to purchase any of these records, um, by all means, leave a comment. Thank you again for watching. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.